I've been pretty much living the work that I do for the past year and a half. Visiting chefs in kitchens, talking to chefs online, and designing things for them. I started at 15 as a bus girl. One summer, I didn't let anyone know that I was going to get a job in a restaurant. I learned about food, and I learned about life and music, and it was an incredible summer that led to many, many years in and out of restaurants. I feel like I was raised by chefs. They weren't my parents, but I guess I watched them, and I was in a restaurant and saw a chef come out. And he was just wearing a t-shirt and an apron. There was nothing wrong with it, but it struck me that the kitchens I grew up in, the restaurants I was in, they were always in whites. And that's been the uniform of chefs for centuries. But these days, things had shifted. The attitude became a little bit more casual, and yet they were out front a lot more. So. I just wanted to give them something that was like my farrier because I had been at a farm growing organic veg, raising rabbits for chefs in Toronto. So I had a farrier would come and shoe my horses and then the blacksmith would come and work on stuff in my barn. Every time they pulled up, the first thing they did when they got out of their trucks was throw on their apron. And that's the way it always used to be. You knew a tradesman or a craftsman based on their uniform, which was usually an apron, especially if you were around farms. So I thought chefs needed something to remind them of how important they are, how important their role is, and that everybody's watching. And I call it chef armor. I don't know. I love it when they tell me that when they put on their apron. and guys who've never, chefs that have never worn an apron before will for some reason order one and then they send me emails and say now I feel naked without it, I can't work without it. I love that because that's all I was trying to do was give them something that reminded them how important they are.